China's central bank disappointed markets last week by leaving long prime rates unchanged. The People's Bank of China caught investors by surprise again just days later with a rush of easing measures, including a 50 basis point cut to the amount of cash that banks must hold as reserves. The move will release $140 billion of cash into the banking system. The central bank also brought good news to the property market with a 50 basis points reduction on existing mortgage rates. With hints of more easing to come later this year, this is a strong message that China's economic planners are finally serious about hitting its annual GDP growth target of around 5%. Still, without substantial fiscal spending, that may not be enough to stem strong deflationary pressures amid a consumer confidence crisis and a property market crash. Beijing, though, is wary of big bank stimulus. In the wake of the financial crisis in 2009, officials unveiled a 4 trillion yuan package that helped contribute to all sorts of problems authorities are still trying to address today, including industrial overcapacity and hidden local government debt. It's perhaps not surprising that the central government has repeatedly ruled out another deluge of stimulus. Instead, the Ministry of Finance will probably continue to roll out piecemeal measures like consumer goods trade-in programs and small-scale infrastructure projects. But with December just a few months away, the window to make an impact is closing fast.